Intelligence is sparking a lot of conversation and mixed reaction. But what if we told you artificial intelligence is the reason for infrastructure improvements happening right here in New Orleans? A local company is installing an AI-powered traffic monitoring platform to upgrade our streetcars. Hugh Blackwell is the founder of Blackstar Diversified Enterprises. He joins us all the way from Las Vegas this morning with the latest on this. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Leslie, for having me. I really appreciate it. Now, you are in Vegas for a work trip. This is a New Orleans-based company, and your company's partnering with the New Orleans RTA and the New Orleans Department of Public Works to bring this system to upgrade our streetcars. How did you guys get involved? Uh, we got involved uh, through RTA a few months ago, and uh, Floyd Bailey, maintenance director over there, we put our heads together, and we figured, hey, let's figure out a system to improve traffic safety, reduce congestion, and move things forward, put our city into a smart city realm. Okay, so tell us about this system. Dumb it down for me, because I'm very confused. So simply put, this system shortens travel times, cuts down delays, and improves safety, which all aid in long-term viability of roadway infrastructure. And the system is based on camera and radar technology. So essentially, it sees all the vehicles as well as pedestrians. It classifies them. Then it enters them into a system. It learns patterns and it starts to develop more efficient patterns for traffic and more efficient patterns for safety and pedestrians crossing crosswalks. Oh, okay, so it all uses artificial intelligence and those cameras to do that. Yes, it does. Is that, yes, it does. Is that what your company does? Tell us more about your company. So my company, Black Star Diversify, we are a value-added traffic safety and controls distributor. Uh, we're also in the renewables realm with power distribution. So we sell this equipment as well as the integration of the equipment, and we work directly with municipalities to implement these systems. Uh, our team is wonderful. Uh, we have a group of uh, great employees, and also No Traffic, the company that we're working with, is a, is a phenomenal company on cutting edge technology, working with major companies in microchips. And we believe it's a phenomenal artificial intelligence based system that's coming to New Orleans very soon. Okay, and these are systems that we'll see in other cities, including some here locally. It's already happening in Hammond, um, breaking ground on it, I guess, if that's how you say it, in, in Lake Charles next week. Yes, yes. We have two installations uh, in the state of Louisiana. Well, one installation in Hammond. We have another in Pearl, Mississippi. Uh, we just installed one in Hampton Roads, Virginia as well. And Lake Charles is coming next week. New Orleans, it'll be there on the 14th at Canal and Convention Center. Okay. And, and that's tomorrow. You guys know it. Yeah, yep, it's coming tomorrow on the 14th. Will passengers notice a difference? I mean, obviously they'll be safer, they'll make it off the streetcar, but will they notice a difference? So uh, the passengers will eventually notice a difference. What the system does is it learns. So it takes the system two to three months to actually learn all of the patterns. So uh, passengers will see a reduction in their streetcar times because what the system will do is it will preempt and allow the streetcars to go through signals and stop all the other traffic to maintain that flow that RTA wants to see. And it's also going to be helping RTA buses as well in the future to maintain that flow. So passengers definitely will see it. It will make their commutes more efficient mm -hmm. and eventually they'll see it with the atmosphere. This thing reduces CO2 because it reduces congestion. Sounds amazing. I was going to ask if you were going to expand into the buses. Um, is this going to replace humans' jobs anywhere down the line? Uh, no, it's definitely not going to replace humans' jobs. I think artificial intelligence is something that uh, some people look at as a closed black box, but it's actually phenomenal technology that we need, especially in our communities that are impoverished. We need to be on the cutting edge of technology so we can understand how to benefit and how to create generational wealth for our families in the future. So there's no reason to shy away from artificial intelligence. This is the future, and we need to hop on that bus or that streetcar. <laughs> I love it. Sounds fascinating. Hugh Blackwell, thank you so very much for your time. We appreciate it.
Thank you, Leslie. I appreciate you. Have a great day. You too. And a press conference will be held tomorrow morning at the intersection of Canal Street and Convention Center Boulevard. It starts at 11 a.m. And again, that system will start tomorrow.